just left the little settlement of Karita, which is the um, last bit of civilization, um, heading off to our first camp, which is about 12, 13k away. We've got Albania over there, at that massive behind me there. Already had a bit of drama on the trail. Um, caught two, we've already picked up two snakes a day, including, not actually physically picked them up, but uh, we've seen two snakes today, including the horn-nosed viper. So actually a really good find. So um, we're documenting this today. Hopefully we'll get to the um, the lake later on about before eight o'clock-ish so that we can set up before before nightfall and uh, basically document some of these views and what we're doing. So just got up to the first pass, a uh, bit of a slog with snow and whatnot. Um, running a touch lake because it was a bit slow, but um, basically the lake is kind of just in that gully over there, those trees. So there's a very, very sort of rocky trail there. And hopefully that's uh, where I'm going down to get to the lake. Um, so found a little ant's nest here, similar to ones I'd done a little video on this years ago in Scandinavia. But um, my my gran used to put her hands in these for eye fright, so we'll probably pan in and you'll see. But you, you you can't move, and they should leave you be. They're not doing anything to me. Right, so um, just packed up from uh, the last camp, but um, just for a quick second, just listen. That's the sound of silence right there. Some good birds as well. Um, we got here a bit late, um, quite a challenging day yesterday. Loads of great little things happening. Dave nearly getting killed by a snake. Both of us uh, dealing with a few... Uh, exposed bits and pieces let's say at least we had a bit of bogging down from the snow and um, snow uh, and some of the passes probably probably cost us about three four hours so we got it late so we kind of pushed this out a little bit further but this is the lake or um our first spot Cesero. i can't remember the actual name of the lake i think Cesero is the name of the lake locally um, just put my hand in the ant's nest, that was, was quite fun. So hopefully what we're going to do is we're going to head further north now um, into this, in, deeper into the mountains and we're going to try and avoid the snow line if we can. Um, basically the passes were still a bit closed. Now uh, I would say maybe June-ish is when sort of the shepherds and that would come up and there's a lot of little boffies and stuff like that. So there are little shepherd's huts knocking about here and there, um, kind of closed, um, but probably the odd shelter, you know, there's probably the odd one we could potentially use as a shelter. 
Um, it was quite wet this morning because um, we had quite a bit of condensation at this lake. It's literally like a bowl, but this was all misty behind us there. Now the wind's picking up. I, don't know. I think it's going to be a hot day. Um, so hopefully, I'm going to have a bit more of a relaxed day. Try not to, um, you know, deliberately confront danger. <laughs> Let my missus doesn't see this. Um, and then uh, and then set up a nice camp somewhere by a river. Hopefully, maybe with a bit of woodland if we're lucky. Try and take it a bit slower today. Um, and get a few good images there today. So, uh, let's crack on. Just thought I'd chat a little bit about um, some of the navigational aspect. It's not really bushcrafty, this whole expedition, as a sense of, you know, making things in the woods because there's always a bit of a... Um, pressure because of time constraints of moving from different goals to goals if that's what you will camps so um just to show you guys where we are on the map because we're just using map and compass and other some other bits and bobs for navigation so we're sitting around here in this lake this is albania this side yeah so literally just behind me is albania and then today we're going to try and take it a little bit easier we're coming up here where there's a little pass and there's actually an old church up here where we'll probably come down here. So basically here, this is sort of going into, um, this will sort of go up to a bit of ridgeline climbs potentially. So we're gonna come around here and get further along here. We've got some valleys and that in there. And then behind here, I'm just gonna switch the map around. You can see, um, this little spot here there's a bit of a flat area there where we're potentially going to camp, camp with a bit of water as well but again we'll probably just play it by ear because again it's new new territory so if we find something better we'll just uh, stick with that it's pretty impressive this um coming into sort of another saddle area i've got to say i'm knackered the heat is uh it's been hot hasn't it yeah roast them <laughs> dave's Dave's um, had a bit of a struggle with the heat, both of us. Obviously, we're more sort of heavier loaded uh, than you. 20k. 20k. 20k, yeah. I'm a bit heavy because my uh, military ration packs are uh, they're way he really heavy, so I tried to smash in a sticky toffee pudding last night, which was absolutely horrendous. <laughs> Don't ever get a sticky toffee pudding uh, of a military ration pack. But... Um, Hopefully we're going to try and find a better camp so that we can set up during the day, you know, get a nice little river somewhere. Um, yeah, there's a, it's blistering heat, that's what's sort of slowing us down. Probably about 24 degrees up here. Yeah, got to be. Um, we've just gained about four or 500 metres, but it's taken us probably two hours, you know, which would probably take you about an hour usually. You know, if you had like a 30 litre pack or something like that. Just from a like little, again, trying to sort of get into the sort of bushcraft and outdoor perspective. All these woodlands here, they're, they're actually mostly beech tree. Bit of scattered birch and obviously as we get higher, we'll get some of the pines and kind of see some evergreens there. But we wouldn't have beech this high up at home. It, it doesn't really work. But here it's really, really... It's the, probably the most common tree. Um, we found loads of um, loads of stuff that we get from home here. Even the ground right right by me here is just covered in yarrow. We found like some thyme, um, tons of mint as well. Tons of mint near our water areas. Dave like just rammed his water bottle with, with mint yesterday. Um, common sorrel stuff that I sort of teach on my foraging courses as well. It's obviously no mushrooms at the moment because uh, it's not the season for it, but. Plenty of that sort of stuff going on. Um, and again, a lot of the, even like the, the birds and that, we get, um, you know, early this morning, we're getting cuckoos, chaffinches. Um, we were getting um, chiff chaffs. Um, and I think, I'm not quite sure, because I wouldn't have sort of seen it at home. We had like a, a wind chaff or possibly a wheat ear. I just sort of um, glimpsed it. Um, from far away, so I couldn't really tell by features. But um, really interesting. Obviously, buzzards as well. Plenty of birds of prey. Um, so it's quite interesting, really. 
So um, hopefully we're going to get past this pass and uh, I'll see you in a bit. Lovely, that. Um, tying a little washing line to dry my clothes later but I've got like a hundred feet of um, paracord so I'm just trying not to cut it so the way I'm doing it is I'm, I'm creating my own bitter end if you will again so just making a loop so I can tighten it that way and I'll probably just finish off with a slip knot so I just I can tighten her that way yeah and then I'll probably tighten her one more time that way she don't get caught where well, she did. Now there's a couple of ways of, of doing this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna loop this over. You can see my finger there, twist. Yeah, and I'm gonna bring this through. I can make it a bit longer, just a bit more comfortable. Put my finger on there and I should hold that tension a little bit. Get my fingers through. See there I'm pinching? And I pinch there and then I just pull like that. And that's my knot. So what I can do now, I could get this. I could pull this. This is my release. But what I can also do, I can put this through here. Do another slip knot. 
So instead of using a stick, which some people do, you can just slip it again. Or I could have put a stick in place of that, but all I do is pull that and it all comes loose. So in case anyone's wondering when you're in the wilderness, you know, you can't pack too much gear. So I'm gonna go for a wash in the river. It's gonna be freezing cold, but I'm gonna wash my clothes, hang them up, and then hopefully uh, it'll be nice and uh, dry later on again. Right, so um, we're, uh, it's our fourth day now. We had a bit of um, a rest day yesterday. And again, taking a quite a bit of a battering from uh, challenging, under challenging circumstances. Um, locking in bypasses, snow, that sort of thing. So we come down in the woods and we found a really nice campsite. Uh, got a good, good little bit of footage there built a few things, made a fire, um, had a bit of a rest, um, just recovering from a lot of sort of harsh terrain, which just uses a bit more energy. So we've also had to change plan a bit. We were originally, we'd, well, we've actually just come out of here. This is the river Vucia, right? Which we are heading down and uh, we will be crossing the Albanian border, yeah, to try and get into some some sort of settlements here and move along. It's just because um, up the top, there's a pass here. Yeah, there's a pass here. And these passes are quite um, exposed and there's a lot of um, snow, sort of tricky terrain. So we've had to change it up a bit, but that's sort of the nature of the challenge. Um, so we are crossing the border. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that to everyone, but um, we've got to do what we've got to do. Um, and then we'll continue on from there. Knackered, 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 knackered. So we're sort of, it's like three, we've just gone three in the afternoon just crossed Albania illegally um, but um, we might we might have a little you know don't don't do that um, but uh, been absolutely battered today again it's quite funny my kit is absolutely smashed um, and I'll show you some of some of the, the bag and look at the dirt the needles the brush all on it now it's a bit different to go into your local woods, I would say. Um, it just goes to show you, I, I think people always say, when you're in sort of wilderness areas, it's always like one little thing leads on to like another little thing, you know, decisions and whatnot. That's quite typical when things go uh, a bit pear-shaped. Today, we left the camp good, um, where we had a rest day, well rested packs, and finally getting a nice weight um, and we, we hit the woods um, but it's just very very dense um, trying to follow, follow some of the old logger trails and then we was off trail a bit and um, we just ended up trying to contour but a lot of decisions rolled in sort of um, we got to a river where there was there was landslides um, so we had to make a decision to go down into the river and sort of kind of shimmy down this river to meet another river, basically hand railing the river. A lot of you guys will know that navigational jargon anyway. But so we hand railed the river. Um, so in a lot of like crossings on logs and stuff like that, um, going through really thick brush. And it's quite funny really, because um, I went, with like taking a hatchet over a small machete that I've got. Um, Cause I was like, it's, it's, 
It's not that I prefer the hatch over the machete. Um, they're both they're both equal to me. But today the machete would have been really welcome for sort of hacking because that's what we had to we had to bushwhack um, through the um, through the woods there. My boots are now. I've just put on um, some seal skins. My socks are like. Let's have a look. We'll have a little ring. See, shall we? That's just going through a bit of river. Boots are holding up really well, though. Absolutely smashed. If they don't um, get ripped to shreds, they've been absolutely hammered. But um, you can see behind us, they will just pan round where we've just come through from. And that's no trails there. That's just hacking through that gorges and rivers. Um, but it's nice. We're in Albania now, and uh, we're going to move on. Hopefully, we're going to bit of, get a bit of a respite because. Um, because of all the um, the battering, we've been on the ropes, but um, it's been good though. It's been really good. We're we're uh, so far so good. We need to get a bit of signal and get in touch with families and this, that, and the other. So um, see you guys in a bit.